Hello, hi, I'm Punita here from Huawei Global Training Center and today we're going to discuss about the content Troubleshooting License Faults Part 12. So let's look into the license background information. These are the license structure. The license consists of a common segment, service segment and a feature segment. So this is common segment. The second part is related to the service segment and the third part is related to the feature segment. So what are the license background information? License states. An e B can operate in default protected, demo, normal or emergency license state. So these are the following figures relationship between these five states. So we can be in a commissioning state, emergency state, normal state, protected state or default state. So license faults. So what are the license faults? Basically license faults are license related alarms and faults that occur during e B license installation or during network is running. So the causable causes can be incorrect operations, misunderstanding over the license mechanism, error in the license file or product defects. So let's look into how to troubleshoot license fault that occur during license installation. Fault description, the following error messages displayed in the MML command output means the license installation fail, license check fail, license serial number become invalid, the license file does not match the product or license version do not match. The license file has expired, the file type is demo. The license control items do not match. The configured value exceeds the value in the license file or the validity date of the control item is earlier than in the license file. So these are the possible causes of the error messages would be received. Mainly the possible causes could be related to equipment serial number, version related problem, product types do not match, license file expired or license file type is incorrect. The system configuration items do not match the license control items. So typical case, fault description and after an e-node B at a site were upgraded, the e-node B experienced failures to install commercial license. The following error message was displayed. The configured value of the control item is greater than the value in the license file. So fault diagnosis. This message shows that the configured value on the current e-node B exceeded the limits of the license file. So they compare the license control items in the license file with the configuration that has taken effect on the e -Note B to find the configuration items that have been activated on the e -Note B but were not authorized by the license file. So this is the case. So how they handle it? First, they try to display the license info to collect more information. So when they configured value on the e -Note B exit the allocated value, configured value exit the allocated value, the license file, you will have a message stating that data configuration exiting license limit will be displayed. So let's check this information in one of our sites. So display license info. So when I display the license info, uh, my case is actually default. So basically when, when it's default, there isn't much uh, control items over here. It's a default license. So let me switch to another side. So display license info over here, you can see that they have the control items. So this is the control items. So basically we want to compare it with the allocated and the configured value. So these are the main important parts. So it shouldn't exit. If it exists, then we will have a message pop up as data configuration exiting license limit will be displayed. So second step, check the functions not authorized by the license file. So find the configuration items which are activated. Make sure the values is set to 1 on the e -Note B, but it's not included in the license file. So these are the kind of functions we have to look into. In that case, we have to reinstall the license. Modify the e -Note B configuration. Disable the function that not authorized by the license file or apply for a new license that includes these function items in which allocated values are equal or greater than the configured values on the e -Note B. Then you reinstall the license. Q&A session. The e -Note B can stay in a protected license state for a maximum of 50 days. Yes or no? The statement is wrong. Whether the equipment serial number ESN in the service field matches the ESN of the equipment, whether the VR version number in the service field matches the VR version of the software, this statement is true or false. 
So the summary of this section, troubleshooting license fault. We have learned about license background information, license faults, troubleshooting of license fault and typical case. That's all from me. Hope you enjoy the session. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.